Hello everybody and welcome back to another playthrough of Tokyo After School Summers. We are going to do the next high difficulty quest that released for the event, Akiba and Dragons. It is a level 80 quest that has a special objective, I'm not sure what it is yet, in a tall map featuring the creators. So that includes the new unit Papula, but also regular Teen Lowe's who looks evil as well as a bunch of other non directly featured units. The objective is completely unreadable. That's very cool. Now, presumably, it's only going to be one phase in the end. I think there's not that many enemies. I think probably all of it in a single map, but who knows. I kind of want to use the Tangaroa Eats on the setup, but the last time I used that, I got really shit fucked hard. So, not sure if it will work this time around, but if it's not damage check, it should work. If it is, then I'm kind of screwed. Let's go for CP spam. Hopefully he can actually get in at that point. And for the other two, I actually do want to focus on damage this time since that was the one thing that was lacking before. Okay, this team seems fine, so let's just go ahead and do our first attempt. Let's do this. Thank you, Ketchy, for spawning in place that will help no one, or rather, Aizen. That was terrible positioning. Oh well. Um, looks like they're quite resistant to something here. I've not figured it out yet, but let's try to avoid killing that dragon. I'm a bit afraid of that. Alright, so. Oh, that's a lot of statuses that I don't know what's happening. Hopefully, they're not completely lethal. We'll see. Go away. Are you only supposed to kill the dragon? That's a bit worrisome. I don't like where this is going. Was there a different way to win that strategy or win that first phase? It looks like we're severely weakened. I guess we'll just keep on slowly doing this, tickling him to death until the raid wide kills happen again. Uh, this is too slow, let's just go ahead. I might lose some buffs doing this, but at this point I don't care. What? Oh, that's very cool. And he has a million buffs, very cool. Uh huh. I actually have no idea how to beat this quest then. Maybe we're just. Those other allies on the sides can be defeated before uh, the Sand Dragon, and maybe we can advance the face then. A uh, double requirement kind of phase? I don't know. Uh, actually, the problem with Ark is they get an all range charge, so I probably shouldn't use them. I should remove Ketchy then. Sorry, Ketchy, but you'll never be relevant, I guess. And I can't believe I'm unironically going to be using Claude here. Actually, let's run some back members. Okay, this should be fine. Let's give this a go. Alright, let's just go ahead and ferry Arachne to the opposite side for now. Uh, they're definitely not dying, so I'm a bit right about that. Let's just uh, move Claude to the back here for now. <laughs> Does the objectives really get rid of this guy? I don't really see how else we can win this otherwise. They are not losing HP at all. Yeah, they're not losing HP. I'm a bit right about this. <laughs> and also, Babyunion is on each charge. I forgot about that. That's not good. Oh, that's it then. <laughs> I guess we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, none of them are losing HP at all. Oh wait, I think I got the strategy. Okay, so it seems that we are inflicted a bunch of debuffs that will kill us no matter what in the next phase. Uh, but, 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 that's only for whoever's on board. So maybe uh, what we do in the next... Uh, time, we will go ahead and put our strong units in the back instead, in the sub-slots. Oh, they actually did decent damage there. Well, uh, let's try to win this, I guess. Maybe it's winnable. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was an interesting gimmick if, if we are supposed to use sub-slot members, but... Now I have no idea what that was about. Anyway, that's that, I guess. So, 
操作を始めるぜしっかりついてこいよあおいあおい気を抜いてくれビッグを開始だビッグを開始だ手がかりもらった計算通り